They smell like vanilla, like MAC lipsticks. Liquid lipstick, sort of a formula. Was that a car or an airplane? What do you think about the new products, huh? Hey guys, welcome back. So got a fun little review type video for y'all today. There has been a ton of new stuff coming out in Sephora, Ulta, various places recently. So I picked up some myself and then also received quite a bit for my birthday. So yeah, um, some of it from gratis as well. So I've been trying out these products. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of quickly run through each of these, show you swatches, and then give you some little like rapid mini reviews on each of these products. So I thought it would be kind of fun to just sort of put it all in one video. I am gonna have some more in-depth reviews on a couple of these products. And then also I wanna do a lip swatch video because there's quite a few lip products in here, which is no surprise because I love lip products. So anyway, we have a lot to cover, so let's get to it. So first starting out with a face product, Urban Decay has a new foundation BB cream type of a product out. This is the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector, Broad Spectrum SPF 20, and I have it in light. Got this in gratis from Sephora, and I've been trying this out. I am wearing this on my face today. So basically this is supposed to be kind of like your SPF BB cream, just an easy everyday sort of makeup product or foundation product because it's really not supposed to be full coverage. It's supposed to be very lightweight, very skin-like, just an easy everyday sort of a product. So I've been trying this out and I do really like it. Um, it's not the longest wearing, it's definitely not the most full coverage, but it is very natural looking. It does build up nicely. I've noticed that like longevity kind of depends on how I prep my skin and what my skin is like that day. I mean, I've told y'all before, my skin is different every single day. So on my oilier days, it did break down and start to kind of wear away in certain areas, but then the very next day it was less oily and it didn't do that as much. So I think it's gonna kind of depend on your particular skin type and what you're looking for. If you're looking for an easy every day, not a ton of coverage, not the longest wearing, but just something quick and fast and simple that kind of does it all and looks very natural, I think you would like this. And then Urban Decay has new highlighters and I have a whole review and swatches video on these because they deserve their own video because they are amazing. So there is Aura, which is a really pretty pink color. There is Sin, which is a really nice champagne. And then there is Fireball, which is sort of like a pinky peachy sort of color. So I have them all swatched right here. So this one is Aura, kind of pinky shade. This one is Sin, that champagne-y sort of color. And this one is Fireball, that kind of really interesting pinky peach sort of color. So if you wanna see a more in-depth review, kind of about the wear time and things like that about this particular product, check out that video. But just a little quick review, I love them. I think they're amazing. I think they perform so nicely. And then Benefit has some new liquid face products. First is the Do The Hula Soft Matte Liquid Bronzer for Face. So I am wearing this on my face today and I love the packaging on it. First off saying that the packaging is absolutely adorable. And I mean, it's basically, you know, a liquid bronzer with a pump. I don't know about this. Like I want to love it, but I just don't know if I do. Like in a nutshell, I just don't know. You can see it's a very, very warm toned bronzer, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because sometimes you want a warm tone bronzer, but it's just a little bit hard for me to pull this color off. And I just, I find it a little difficult to use. It's not like it blends badly, but I'm just not as good with liquid cream type products. So if they're already kind of a difficult color for me to make work, and then it's in a liquid form, it's kind of like a double sort of a problem situation. So I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't think it's a bad product, but it's just a little hard for me to figure out how to use. It does have a nice smell though. I do know how to describe it. Something fresh and floral and nice. This stuff I love, the Dandelion Dew. You'll probably notice that most all this stuff is still in its packaging because I like packaging and I have a hard time getting rid of it, especially when it's this cute. So Dandelion Dew is a soft baby pink radiance for cheeks. I am wearing this today, but I have about 700 other things layered on top of it, but just know 
I absolutely love this. I love it by itself. I love it layered. I think it's awesome. Look at that packaging. So darn cute. I don't, I don't know if I can pick. I mean, obviously I think the regular product is the cutest part, but the outside packaging is really darn cute too. So this is in a pump as well, just like the um, Do The Hula. And this like really goes a long way. So you just put a little dot like that and then you have like really good color. But it's a beautiful pinky, sweet, girly color. It wears really well. I find this really easy to blend and work with, like so easy to work with. That's why I'm loving it so much. I love the color of it. I love the packaging. I love that it's easy to work with, that it lasts throughout the day. It's just awesome. I can't stop using this. It's one of my favorite new products. Then Lorac has these new Color Source Buildable Blushes. I have two different colors. I have Tinge and Prism. So Tinge is a really nice kind of like light, sweet, sort of warm pink color. And then Prism is kind of more of a peachy shade. I'll show you swatches in just a second, but I wanna show you in the packaging. So there is Prism. Really beautiful. These have just a gorgeous texture to them. So that one is Tinge, this one is Prism. These are like butter, like silk. They are just so soft and they just blend into the skin. They don't drag, they build on themselves, they wear well. I mean, just an awesome formula on these. And they have a lot of different colors. So right now I just have the two, but I love them, highly recommend them. Would love more colors, they're awesome. Sephora has a really cute Minnie Mouse collection out right now, so I just got one product. I got the blush. This is the Minnie's Inner Glow Luminizing Blush. And the packaging is so cute on this. The whole collection, the packaging is so cute. I mean, look at that. Oh my gosh. The palette, the eyeshadow palette, is just ridiculous. It's so adorable. So this is what this looks like. It is just like a light luminizing blush. And it's kind of a peachy color. It's pretty light. I mean, it's pretty light. I kind of have to build this up. Um, but it's cute. I wouldn't say it's the best formula. It's a little bit powdery. Um, but I mean, it does build on itself, but it's still gonna be very subtle and it's still gonna have that kind of glow to it. I like it because it's sort of a unique color in that it's that kind of a light peach, like a luminous peach color, which I don't know. I feel like is something a little bit different, maybe, probably not, but that's what I like to tell myself when I buy it. <laughs> So just a really cute color, um, but I mean, mainly I got sucked in from the packaging and just the whole collection. And then Too Faced released another shade in their Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush line. This is in the color Sparkling Bellini, and I am wearing this on my cheeks today, again with about 700 other things, so it's sort of like a collection of things happening on my face today. But anyway, Sparkling Bellini is just a really cute, I don't know, sweet, peachy color. And it's luminous. I'll show you the three different sections separately first, and then I'll show you all together. I really like these blushes. They're a little bit bulky, but I like the way that they work. I like that they're that kind of like glowy, sweet kind of a blush, you know? The only one I don't have is Candy Glow, which I wish I would have gotten that on the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. That would have been good, but I totally forgot. So there they are all separate, and there it is all swatched together. So you can see, just a really pretty peachy color. I love it. I think it's so pretty. And now for the train of lip products. I have a lot of lip products to show you. Shocker, I know. So first off, Tarte has some new lip products. I've already shown these in previous videos and tutorials, but I wanted to throw them in this video too because they're new and I'm trying to like put it all together for you guys. So first off, this little guy right here, this was part of a duo that I had gotten. So that's why it's like tiny. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue. So these are basically like lip balmy, easy everyday sort of lip products. Um, I like them, but it's kind of a personal preference. Like if you like products like this, if you like that kind of glossy everyday lip look, then I think you will like these. Um, I have the color Nude. 
and it is right here. So there's that. So you can see it's just, you know, like a glossy everyday lip product. And then these are the, these other ones are the Drench Lip Splash Lipstick. So I have two of these and I have the little guy from the duo. So first off I have um, Cabana Boy and this other one is Surfer Girl, that really pretty pink. So these are creamy, comfortable, opaque, but very, very delicate. They bend and break easily. So while I do like them, I don't like that they're so easy to jack up, <laughs> you know? I don't know, like I don't wanna have to, I'm, I don't know, I, I don't wanna have to worry about my makeup, like where I'm like checking it to make sure it's not bending weird or whatever, you know? And I feel like these are like that. So they're nice, I think they're pretty, I think they're very opaque and comfortable, but they're just so delicate. So that's my only negative about them. And I've already talked quite a bit about these new Amuse Bouche lipsticks from Bite Beauty because I love them. They're creamy, they're comfortable, they're opaque, they're long wearing, which was really a shocker for me when I wore them because they're kind of a nice satin finish where they're comfortable and they're not drying, but they have that longevity to them. So I think they're just awesome. Love the ingredients in them. They're just great. So I have four different colors to show you. So first off, I have Sugar Cane. This is the one that I'm wearing. I do have a lip liner on, so it kind of changes it a little bit, but it's a really pretty kind of nice light pink color. I have um, Saki. This is a really nice kind of like maroon pink kind of color. I love this one. I have Molasses. I got this in gratis from Sephora and I'm so glad they gave me this one because this is probably one I would have like overlooked because it's a brown, but I love it. Like I feel like my love for brown lipsticks has really grown and this one is a beautiful one. And then I have a really cute, tiny, adorable point perk this is in Radish. I love when they do lipsticks and point perks because then you get more colors, you get to try out different ones. I just love that. So I have them all swatched here for you. So there is Sugar Cane, there's Saki, there's Molasses, and there is Radish. So I absolutely love these. I highly recommend them. I would love every color because I love the formula that much. I think they're just Awesome. This guy I'm not a huge fan of. This is the Too Faced La Matte Color Drenched Matte Lipstick, and I have the shade The New Black. I was really excited about these lipsticks, and they're beautiful in their packaging. Kind of like the La Cremes, except they're in a black packaging. I just, I don't think this is very comfortable. Like, it really drags a lot, and it felt pretty dry on the lips. I don't know, I was kind of surprised because, you know, I really love Too Faced, like most all of their products, and I really like their lip products too, but this is just not my favorite. Like I would much rather go with one of their Melteds um, or even a La Creme. So I don't know, it's not horrible. It's not the most uncomfortable matte lipstick I've ever worn, but I don't think it's the best. You know what I mean? And especially since I think these are like 22 or $24 I just, I'm not gonna buy any more. So I will wear this one, I will enjoy it. I think it's a pretty orange color, but the formula is just not my favorite. And then Tarte also has these Lip Duo thingies. These are called the Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Gloss. So I have two different colors. I have Basic and I have Voltage. So Basic is like a basic nude. I mean, that's really what it is. I think these are really cool. These remind me of now I'm forgetting the name of the company. There's a company on QVC. They have these like double-sided things too. And I think they have like a double set for $24, which I think QVC also has a Tarte set for these. It's like around 30 something dollars. So you do get, you know, like a price break sometimes if you do some of their sets. Cause QVC always has those good sets. So anyway, Basic is a really beautiful nudie color. And then Voltage, and then I'll show you swatches of these. Voltage is a really pretty kind of like peachy sort of a duo. All right, Basic is on this side and Voltage is on this side. So both really pretty. They smell like vanilla, like MAC lipsticks. So they have a really nice scent to them. It's light. Yeah, it's light and not overpowering, but really, really yummy smelling. Really like the scent. Um, and I do really like these. I think they're comfortable on the lips. I think they're, they're like that. 
I don't know, nice throw it in your purse sort of lip product because then you have a lipstick or a lip gloss or both. And they're just sort of easier products to use. I feel like they're just um, not as finicky. You know what I mean? They're just a good cream lipstick and then a good gloss that's comfortable, not sticky. Um, not the most long wearing, but really comfortable. So I really do like these. I think they're nice and like I said, just perfect for your purse. Now these guys right here are kind of like a head scratcher for me. These are the Buxom Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipsticks. So I have three different colors here. I have Moonlighter, which is a kind of like bright retro red. This one is Wondrous, a really pretty kind of medium toned pink. And then this one is Lover, kind of a pinky berry sort of a color. So I have worn these multiple times to try to figure out what I really think about them. And I feel like these are really dependent on the situation surrounding them. Like how much product you apply, if you wear a lip liner, what you eat, like the dryness of your lips. I think all those factors are gonna play into how these work because they're a whippy formula. This is what they look like. Let me show you really quickly. So the first one is Moonlighter, this red. This one is the um, Wondrous color. And then the last one is Lover. So they look really beautiful. They're very opaque. Um, they look nice on the lips but then they can kind of like start to dry down a little bit and start to look a little bit dry, but not like traditional liquid lipstick dry level. They really are more whipped. They remind me of the NYX soft matte lip creams a little bit. Um, I was wearing one, I think it was this one. And then after I ate, it pretty much had, well, and then after I wore this one too. And after I ate, this was pretty much worn away for the most part, but this one had bled, like bled outside my lip lines. So then I thought, well, maybe I need a lip liner. So then I wore a lip liner and that helped. So I think all those factors kind of play into that. So I would say applying a thinner coat is a good idea. I found that that helped. I would wear them with a lip liner and just go into it knowing that they're not like that stick and stay matte, matte, matte sort of a long wearing liquid lipstick. They really are more of kind of that whippy liquid lipstick sort of a formula. Was that a car? or an airplane. I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded really weird. But anyway, these are kind of just an interesting formula. They, I just can't really, I don't know, put my finger on how I 100% feel about them. I like them because they are more comfortable for the most part, but they're just, they kind of remind me of like a lip gloss and a lipstick, like right in between those two. So that's kind of a good, summary on them is that sort of that's sort of like what they make me think of and then lastly i have the Too faced melted matte liquefied matte long wear lipstick that's a long name so first off i really like the outside packaging i think it's really pretty i really like the packaging of the actual product it's kind of like a cool sort of a shape to it so i love that about it really cool packaging um i do have two different colors to show you i have queen bee which is sort of like a purpley, taupey pink kind of a color. And then I have Bend and Snap, which is sort of like a pinky burgundy kind of a shade. A little bit wine sort of color. So there they are. This one is Queen Bee, and this one is Bend and Snap. So they're still kind of drying down a little bit. So I've worn these several times to try them out, and basically, I feel like I feel about most liquid lipsticks about these. They kind of remind me of, they're not the same comfort level as Ofra. Those are my favorites pretty much of all the liquid lipsticks. So they're not that comfortable, but then they're not quite as dry as the Kat Von D, which I also do love. I feel like they're kind of right in between and they do have a little bit of transfer because the Ofra ones do transfer, which makes them more comfortable. These do transfer a little bit, at least on me, I find that they do. Um, and they do wear away in the middle of my lips, um, you know, depending on what I eat for lunch or dinner or whatever. So these kind of depend on the situation surrounding them too, I feel like. But overall, I mean, they pretty much dry down to be pretty matte looking, but they will still have that little bit of transfer. They are long wearing, especially if you don't um, eat anything like oily or greasy, that really helps the wear time on them. I think they're pretty comfortable. 
but like I said, like they're not the most comfortable, but they're not the least comfortable. So I'd say that they're right in the middle. I do like them. I wouldn't want 15 colors in them, but I'm just not like a Liquid lipsticks are not my favorite lip products, so I don't have a bajillion of them. But as far as liquid lipsticks go, I do like these, and I really do like the colors that I got. I think that they're both really pretty shades. All right guys, so that wraps up this probably rather long review video on a lot of new goodies that are out right now. So I hope that you really enjoyed it, and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was, and let me know down below if you've been trying out some new goodies recently. What are you loving or maybe not loving? I just enjoy hearing your thoughts and opinions on things. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Baby, I've been in here filming for like an hour. Why did you just come in? Huh? Come here. People are always asking about you. They always want to see Chester appearances. What do you think about the new products, huh? Do you like them? He says, Mommy, all I need is food. Just give me food. I'm easy to please. Bye.